Hello and good afternoon. We're here with everything you need to know right before the stock market rings the bell. Etsy shares surged as much as 10% in extended trading on Wednesday after the online marketplace's third quarter revenue and earnings outperformed expectations. The company also posted upbeat guidance for the current period, projecting revenue between $700 million and $780 million and gross merchandise sales of $3.6 billion to $4 billion. Etsy reported a net loss of $963 million during the third quarter, which included a goodwill impairment charge of $1.04 billion to write down the value of its acquisitions of fashion resale app Depop and Brazil-based marketplace LO7. Third quarter revenue grew 11.7% from a year ago period, boosted by Etsy's surging transaction fees. The company announced last April it would raise the transaction fees it charges sellers to 6.5% from 5%. Shares of Roku Inc. fell more than 20% in extended trading on Wednesday after the streaming platform forecasted holiday quarter revenue below Wall Street estimates as ad spending dries up. Record high inflation and global geopolitical uncertainty from the war in Ukraine and US-China tensions have led companies to slash their marketing budget, causing trouble for digital advertisers. The company expects total revenue to be about $80 million in the fourth quarter, down from $865.33 million a year earlier and below analyst average estimates. Roku added 2.3 million active accounts in the third quarter, compared with 1.3 million net addition last year. Meanwhile, Netflix attracted 2.4 million new subscribers worldwide in the quarter. Google is preparing an app that will use artificial intelligence to let consumers create images by typing a few words. People will only be able to do two things with the app construct building through a function called City Dreamer, or use the Wobble feature to interact with the cartoon monster, Douglas Eck, a principal scientist at Google, said at the company's AI event in New York on Wednesday. The tools will be available through Google's AI Test Kitchen app. AI imaging technology like Dell E can provide vivid pictures from a brief text description, for example, teddy bears shopping for groceries in ancient Egypt. However, critics say that so-called generative AI can also be used to spread misinformation, use artists' work without credit, and enforce harmful biases. This is it. That's all we have for you today. Soon Wall Street bells will ring and a new trading day will start. We are Maxim TV and we will be here same time in the same place on the next trading day. Goodbye.